Hey hello everyone, Winkapman here with a tutorial video for Marco Wii and this time we are gonna show you how to make a faster navigation menu for well basically every <laughs> every single distribution and mod pack which includes CTGPR version 1.3 onwards as you people might already know there is a version that uh, that Road made However, in this uh, version specifically, let me mute that real quick. Let me go straight forward to the menus. This way you can see how uh, the movement goes. As you can see, you don't have the animation that goes smoothly to the right. It spe specifically skips the outro of the animation. It's a little bit snappy. It pretty much loads the, the whole menu straight away. However, I discovered something that uh, still keeps the animation that everything goes to the left without, uh, you know, without waiting for the for the button animation to uh, uh, to finish, because that's most of the waiting time. And like in games such as Mario Kart Double Dash, you didn't have an animation for a selectable button. Basically, it just went to the next page right away. So let me showcase you the way how I did it. It's just 4x3, but it also works for widescreen. Let me fast forward. Why are you so loud? I have no idea. Oh, it's my own volume <laughs> okay so this is just my custom menu that's fine normally if you press uh, one of those buttons you will get the animation first and then everything scrolls but as you can see now you don't have that waiting time and you still have the animation so how did we do it also, um, it also works for mission mode, just for <laughs> for the curious people out there. It just works for every single selectable button, even for the back button. Um, sorry for the interruption that way. Normally, if you go to a tutorial video and there are no buttons over here, and if you press the A button, it still goes back. If I press the B button, it's, you know, what, what should you expect? You go back. Uh, on this page you also can press the A button and the sta same thing happens because the B button or the back button is actually selected for that specific page. Anyway, now that you have seen this uh, screen, except for this one I didn't edit this, however I changed this. Mario gets yeeted. <laughs> also for this, it just works perfectly fine. Same for that. So there are no loading times pretty much. It's it's all skipped. So uh, how do we do it? There are uh, two different methods. One is with, uh, well, both are BRCTR modifications, but this video will uh, showcase you how to pretty much change it. So in this case, uh, I have W uj5 open it's uh, one of the tools made by stabler let me go to there real quick this is a python kind of script so um for the people who are not used to python i'm terribly sorry i had issues myself when it comes to installing it but at least once you have python through uh through tutorial uh, installed you basically can follow this kind of thing. It's pretty straightforward. I have some scripts uh, ready for a uh, fun description, just in case people uh, want to have these. So there's just one that decodes the BRCTR to an XML-like uh, format. And once done, or a JSON uh, file format, sorry. XML. It's because I have, I've been working with BR lit files and such. And uh, for this uh, one, it converts back from JSON to BRCTR. Just with the, the same name, as you can see here. 
So singletop.brctr is our example for today. That's the first menu from, in this case, menu single, also known as single player. Single top is basically the four buttons you select for Grand Prix, Time Trails, VS Race, and Battle. Also includes Mission Mode if you have that button enabled as well. Um, I'll showcase the WUJ5 file first. After that, uh, we're going to switch over to Wax's Toolbox. There is a hotfix version that anyone else still can use. Because... There is that one version that requires uh, the server to be loaded, but since it doesn't exist anymore, the program crashes. So, hence why there is a hotfix. But for this one, in this case, we open it in uh, Notepad++. Also works for Notepad, just a regular one, but I highly recommend to use Notepad++ for this kind of stuff. Believe me. It will help you a long way. Okay, so let me scroll through. Oh, as you can see here, I already changed the thing about the fast, uh, the fast button animations. You can uh, choose two or three, but for some odd reason, I had a feeling that the animation was still a little bit delayed. So I tried a random number, in this case, uh, 127. And it suddenly worked pretty fine. Might be just uh, my own issue with 2 or 3 that's delayed. Might be an emulation issue because I'm testing it on Dolphin. I haven't tested it in, in uh, on real hardware. So like on Wii and Wii U Virtual Wii Mode. I haven't done that just yet. But I assume stuff like this just works as is. It should at least. So basically, uh, you have to look for this kind of string, just for the OK uh, name string. And then you have to follow for the speed and you change speed. Pretty straightforward, you only have to change speed. That, that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else. Just pretty easy. However, I do want to show you one thing, because if the speed is zero, you will softlock your menu. <laughs> but just for this video specifically, I'm going to showcase you what happens if you do speed zero. Um, just in case I'm making a copy of that. <laughs> because I, I want to refer it back. There we go. We are going to single top. This is just for Weems SRS tools. I strongly recommend using Weems SRS tools for stuff like this because I've been experiencing issues with C tools and uh, Brawlbox, Brawl Crate, whatever other tools there are. Uh, whenever I try to modify multiplayer, so menu multi, and uh, different menus such as menu order, like the options slash license settings menus. So, again, I strongly recommend this. Of course, it's just, uh, you have to m memorize all those scripts, but you can make batch files by simply writing a text document, save as, and then change the extension to uh, bat, basically. That, that's the short name for batch files. So we have replaced the menu single part of it, but I want to change this. Also, if you only have uh, one of those folders, by the way, you also simply can use this instead. It will create SRS files for everything that ends with uh, point D for the folders. But in this case, we just want to test one thing. That's menu single. This is an issue on my end. It normally shouldn't take this long, but my computer is just... I have Windows 10 issues. <laughs> no worries. It works. That's not what I want to press on. Oh my god, I suck. <laughs> anyway, um, there we go. 
we are going to the uh, the game file system. I I use an extracted file system instead of building an ISO. If you know how to build an ISO or a WBFS, just go ahead, do your thing. Just for for the sake of uh, easy access and for this tutorial, I'm using this method. So we change the speed to zero, and you remember that the menu actually moved pretty quickly. But with uh, zero, yeah, it's soft locked. Pressing B doesn't help. However, to get out of this, you still can uh, use the home button. This might be an idea for a troll page. I'm just sharing ideas here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we don't want this. We want to have a faster navigation. So instead of speed zero, you have to change to speed 127. Okay, but that's with a stabless uh, program. What about a uh, Wax's program? So I have a hotfix here. So normally it will crash right here, but in this case it doesn't do that. Which is exactly what we want. We drag and drop single top, or you basically can double click on this. I don't get why I didn't do that. <laughs> normally I also do that, but whatever. So with Wax's toolbox, you go to section 2. I know it sounds pretty uh, direct to the point. As you can see, it's uh, the one I changed zero over here. You can do this, uh, you can set this to 127 and then save. But if you want to have it like Rose faster navigation mod thingy, this one, what Road did was instead of uh, using one or zero, Ro actually uses minus one for this. So that skips the whole animation. That also means that if we can find out uh, the intro of an animation, we can skip that as well with BRCTRs. Now that's an idea or just, a, I mean, we can change stuff like this now. It's only for the outro that you don't have to wait for an animation to end. So basically we use this now. But since this skips, we have some gecko codes to skip both the intro and the outro of the, the menu transitions. We probably can find out or find a way where the intro from the menu transition begins in the BRCTRs. Might be hard coded in static art or rel, might be hard coded somewhere else, who knows. Maybe for some people to uh, to hunt for that one. I mean, it, it could be this. It, no, it's just that. We shall see. We shall see what the future brings us. But yeah, basically, change to 127, save. And that's pretty much done. And this, um, once it's... Uh, saved in the proper folder because some people want to have those files uh, somewhere else like on the desktop on, or on a specific folder just bring it back to the menu single dot d folder in the proper button folder of course because there are two of them if i remember correctly of course i don't because i don't know Sometimes, uh, like the cup files, that they are in both. Control is basically the ones that you cannot select. So let's say you're on the page of a track or battle stage. You cannot uh, uh, select one of the cups. That's basically what control does. Button does everything that you can select. So in this case, single top means the main four or main five buttons. Uh, if you include mission mode. That's pretty much it. So you uh, you create a new SSS file again, move it over to your game, and give it a try. If this crashes, oh my god, I will be so mad. <laughs> okay, good. 
See, and everything is fine again. And there you go. Now we know how uh, faster navigation works with a proper animation. Instead of the, the way how I wrote it. But still, even if I discovered the smoother animation, I still give sh uh, shout outs to Ro for making this. Because this was basically a discovery for, <laughs> for themselves and of course for the community. But no one else really checked into these files about what's changed or basically what's modified. So I gave it a go and uh, yeah, I found out that the speed has changed. I still haven't checked what's actually um, minus one in Wax's toolbox with the uh, Stablos tool. <laughs> I probably should have uh, written that down, but anyway, um, you can use minus one for wax toolbox. It's uh, easy to configure. However, there's a w I oh, hold on a moment. Let me stop you for a second. I give you one um, quick warning about using wax's toolbox. So earlier I said that multiplayer files and uh, other option files for all the menus, they can crash if you use Wax's toolbox. That still applies for just uh, saving in Wax's toolbox itself. Even saving as a different file, it still can cause issues and can crash up and loading. So, I still recommend using this one, and since we don't have to use minus one or whatever, just use this. You can also use uh, value two or value three, whatever works for you. This just works fine. If you want to go back to the vanilla speed, just set it to one. That's pretty much it. With that being said, um, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we see some faster menus in the future. <laughs> Have a nice day, everyone.